Good afternoon. My name is Councilman Chaim Deitch. I'm chair of the Veterans Committee. I would like to thank you uh, for joining us today, and I'd like to extend my warm welcome to the veterans who have joined us here this morning. The Department of Veterans Service, DVS, has been actively helping our veterans for almost three years now. Since its creation through local law in 2015, the DVS has grown to a robust agency that operates an impressive array of programs. These programs, such as Vet Connect and Vet Thrive NYC, help veterans by connecting them with affordable housing, providing assistance to find and apply for good paying jobs, referring them to legal and benefits assistance services, and helping them appropriate men, uh, metal, uh, mental health care treatment when they need it. DVS also has liaisons with every other city agency to ensure that veterans have the smoothest possible interactions with city government. Now that the department is fully operational and fully staffed, it is appropriate for us to track its services in a comprehensive and holistic way. In order to figure out what is working and what is not working for our veterans, manage and improve the services that we render, we must first have tangible and reliable data on the day-to-day -day operations of the department. I am proud to sponsor the bill under consideration. Uh, proposed introduction 1118A would require DVS to submit an annual report to the council in which would specify the services it provides at all of its locations, as well as the number of its employees and a summary of their responsibilities. In addition, this report would include an accounting of not only the number of veterans who have inquired about DVS services, but also the number of veter veterans who have received services from DVS and the means by which they learned about the agency. Those who have served this country in uniform deserve the very best when they come home. My hope is that this bill will allow us to discover patterns in the veterans community and discern that they are asking for, what DVS is providing, and how the council and agency can continue working together to serve our city veterans. By passing this bill, we will ensure that the department continues its upward trajectory and remains an example for the rest of the country to follow. I would like to thank the committee staff, Council Luzat Sudri, uh, pol policy analyst Michael Kurtz, fin uh, finance analyst Zachary Harris, and my legislative director, Tova Chastanov, for their work in making this hearing possible. Finally, I would like to recognize the committee members that have joined us in order of when they attended. <laughs> Council member Justin Brennan, Council member Paul Vallone, Council member Alan Maisel, and Council member Matthew Eugene. Uh, can I ask the clerk to call for a vote? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on veterans, introduction 1118-A, Chair Deutsch. I vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Maisel. Yes. Valone. Yes. Brannon. Yep. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. We are now adjourned. Congratulations, Mr. Chair. receiving the emails that I'm sending mm -hmm. about the meeting mm -hmm. is that you formally said you have had some problems getting that onto your calendar. Who said that? Adam. Okay. I'm coming to you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.